What's up you guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to Steal the Spotlight. Today I'm taking 12 items and creating 25 outfits. Hopefully I counted that right. I'm once again teaming up with one of my favorite K fashion brands, Mix Mix. So a huge thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. Last time around, we actually did dressing like K-pop idols because a bunch of their clothes are actually frequently spotted on some of your favorite K stars. So if you missed that one, I'll leave a link to it in the corner. But this time around, I wanted to go for the more general K style K fashion because I've been getting a ton of inspo from it over on my Pinterest recently. And I noticed that they tend to stick to a lot of basic pieces that are really easy to mix and match and create a ton of different looks hence the video we're gonna get into right now <laughs> okay so I've chosen 12 super versatile items from mix mix and also gonna be using a handful of accessories just to keep the looks fresh but today we're working with the ever so popular cropped cardigan a white denim skirt a check shirt in pastel colors for something a bit different though my absolute Favorite thing to buy from Mix Mix, their jeans. I pretty much live in these. I got a black pair and a light wash in two different fits as well. A basic black crop top and a white blouse. A neutral toned blazer, striped long sleeve t-shirt. A grid print button up, I guess. Casual black shorts, which also have a matching black tee, but I was half asleep when ordering and didn't realize I didn't add them to my cart. So lastly, today we're working with this filler graphic tee instead. And all of the links to Mix Mix will be in the description box if you're interested in anything and also their current discounts as well. Kicking things off with one of my favorite looks at the moment. This is legit just a go-to of mine, a cropped fitted top and then pairing it with a more loose fitted pair of baggy jeans. And I've been over the skinny jean trend for quite some time, but mum jeans just never felt quite right either. So thank goodness K Fashion came, saved the day with these more wide leg baggy option, which now I just live in. So let's style them again. Round two, still keeping that relaxed, effortless sort of vibe to it. Obviously switched out to the white top instead and then threw on an extra layer. I am a big fan of any sort of oversized button up. I feel like I will throw it on with anything. To finish it off accessories wise, I decided to go with some sneakers and a pair of glasses as well. But however you see fit, Switching into something a little more feminine, I suppose, I kept on the same white blouse, teamed it with the white denim skirt, and then also this check print shirt. That always feels like a tongue twister for some reason, but I really like that this is in a more soft pastel toned color, just to switch up from the grid print one that we saw earlier. But the white denim skirt doesn't have to go for that girly sort of vibe. So we switched back in to the black button up and I just added on a lot of silver accessories. You guys will see I switch between the silver and gold depending on if I'm styling more black tones or more neutral tones. Also, if you're more limited on footwear choices, you could totally just stick with your sneakers. I decided on these boots just to dress the look up a little bit while still maintaining that edge. Okay, so upon reflection, I kind of look like Freddy Krueger in this outfit, but um, Freddy Krueger, but make it cute, I suppose. Halloween is just around the corner, right? But I do like this combination in general. Obviously, I really layered the accessories on thick, which I mean, I don't know if that's so much a K fashion thing, but it's definitely something I do a hell of a lot. You can easily keep the same outfit base and just switch up the layers for a brand new look. Obviously, in typical e-girl fashion, you have to style your long sleeve striped t-shirt with an oversized graphic t-shirt over the top. So that's exactly the vibe we're going for here. Also, I am noticing I probably went a little bit too matchy-matchy with the filler, but um, I think it still kind of works. Slipping into something more casual now, I still kept the filler t-shirt and the matching belt and the sneakers. Wow, I am even more obnoxious than I realized. But anyway, we ditched the long sleeve from underneath and slipped into these super comfy black shorts just for a really casual, relaxed vibe. Obviously, you don't have to go as overboard with accessories as I do. I just can't help myself. So bucket hat, take it or leave it. Oh, okay, this is one of my favorites. I was finally sick of the logo, so I just flipped it around to the back and then tucked it into my bra to kind of form a makeshift crop top. And then because I threw on the extra layer of the grid print shirt, it doesn't seem like I'm just wearing my t-shirt backwards. 
Once again, you could totally stick to sneakers, but I felt like whipping out the sandals made it a more K-fashion vibe, also made me feel like I was channeling my inner sugar, Yungi, so represent, I guess. <laughs> Okay, moving back into the more neutral tones, which means switching back to the gold accessories. And we're actually kind of going back to back with some of my favorite looks because I love how this one turned out. I am obsessed with the striped cardigan. Pretty much any look featuring this is one of my favorites, but I thought it was really fun to team it with the short sleeve blazer and the white denim skirt for a little bit more of a dressed up boss lady, but on the weekend vibe. Continuing on with that boss lady mentality, we are still sticking with the blazer, but you don't just have to wear it as an outerwear piece. Here, I turned it into a shirt as well, and it is a little bit gapy because I don't have much going on in the chest area. So I just decided to kind of secure the situation by teaming it with this white belt bag as well. You thought we were done with the blazer, but no, think again. This time around, I'm doing a bit of a half tuck situation into the black wash jeans. And this is a more simple look than my others. It's definitely a more minimal approach compared to my usual overboard with the accessories, but obviously still did stick with some gold jewelry up the top. I guess she thinks she's some sort of minimal queen now because here we go again. I guess these jeans just bring it out of me for some reason, but here is finally a good look at the black crop top and how it has just that extra bit of detail. I love that when you're looking for basics for a more capsule wardrobe. I think it's really important to find ones that still have a bit of a point of difference so your outfits don't feel flat or boring. Wow, okay, I was on a roll with these jeans apparently, but if you're getting sick of the silhouette, obviously a simple trick is just to roll them up. Here, I decided just to do one extra large cuff on them. I've noticed this quite a lot in K fashion, so I thought it was pretty fitting for this video. I know it probably isn't everyone's cup of tea, but I actually think it looks really cool. For the rest of the look, kept it pretty simple with all white and a splash of gold. We are back to one of my favorites. Actually, let me know which outfit numbers you guys liked the most. See if there's any sort of pattern forming because I noticed that this is very similar to the first outfit I showed. Obviously, I switched out the baggy jeans for these shorts instead. Honestly, these shorts are the perfect length. I don't like anything too short or too tight. So this is just ticking all the boxes. Okay, we are taking our friend Freddy Krueger's shirt once again. This does actually come in other colors, by the way, guys, if you're not feeling the red vibe, but I am actually really digging it. And I love this outfit because finally I broke out my trusty old harness. You guys know that this is an absolute staple in my wardrobe and definitely something that was heavily influenced when I got into K-pop and K-fashion in general but we are stripping back all the chunky accessories once again to go for a more simple look, which I really, really like. Actually, you know what? I might wear this one today, but anyway, I think it's a really cute pairing. You guys know I love wearing cardigans as tops, as does like half the population at the moment, but I'm still not over it. I'm kind of surprised how much I love it teamed with the black jeans because typically I'd be more of an outfit 17, Great segue there and teaming it with light wash jeans and just a more bright overall vibe to it, I suppose, something very summery. And this is just the type of look you'll catch me in all the time. Like if a cartoon character was based around me this year, this is definitely the outfit I would be drawn in every single day. Okay, folks, it is time to unbutton our little cardigan, but don't worry, it's nothing too scandalous because we're obviously teaming the white blouse underneath and also just going ham with the white accessories, apparently. We brought back out the little white bum bag and also these white booties, which I love. It always just gives it like a retro sort of vibe, I suppose. I don't know, I've probably overused the word vibe ridiculously in this video, so my apologies, but the light wash jeans are still going strong. Like I mentioned earlier with the black wash ones, if you're getting sick of the overall silhouette, you can easily cuff them. So here I'm doing a pin roll tuck, which I think is really the only cuff you can do with a wide leg jean like this without it just looking kind of strange. So I like how this one turned out. Feeling like a boss lady once again, which I will say every single time I whip out this blazer. 
we have once again tapped into our inner ego and resurrected this layered t-shirt situation, this time teaming it up with the black shorts, the platform sneakers, and in case you haven't noticed by this point, I have some strange problem where I always have to have some form of head accessory. This time, it was a headband, but Easily, we can switch out this look again, keeping the same base, but just going for something a little bit more classic, I suppose. We don't need all the layered extras. But again, would you look at that? Still something on my head. Anyway, this is obviously a very casual, comfy outfit. Definitely like back to school vibes when you really cannot be bothered, but it's also like too hot just to wear sweatpants. I know you must have been wondering where that plaid shirt went to, so finally I'm bringing it back. Honestly, I found it kind of tricky to style in the softer color palette. It was good for something different, but definitely a little more out of my comfort zone. Obviously, at the end of the day, flannels like this, though, are just a wardrobe basic, and you can team them with pretty much anything, so I just kept it simple. But if you are looking for a more creative way to style it, then I absolutely love turning them into a little one-shoulder situation, and this is just how I do it. I'm not going to explain it. You can see it on screen. That's how it goes down. It just tucks in at the back. You can definitely pin it if you want it to be a little bit more secure, but you could team this up with your jeans. Here, I decided to go with the white denim skirt because again, we hadn't seen it in a little while. For outfit number 24, we're doing the old wear your t-shirt backwards trick again, and once again, covering it up with the same grid print shirt. This time around though, we've teamed it up with the jeans and I kind of feel like it looks like I'm wearing a tool belt. There's so much stuff hanging off my jeans, but it's a look, it's a look. Can you believe it? We made it to lucky last. Outfit number 25 and I really decided to go back to basics for this one. Threw on the light wash jeans one last time and also the t-shirt. I tied it up in the knot, which three years ago, that's like how I exclusively wore graphic tees. So good times, good times. But that does wrap up our video today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments, of course, which looks were your favorite and any videos you want to see from me in the future. Thanks again for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.